So if you guys been looking for a build that will put everything on fire and help you clear these open war activities fast and efficient, well, I think I have the build for you. If you guys haven't played with a build like this in the past, this might be something for you guys to put on, try, and just watch everything burn. What's cool about it is you can even run something like this in solo or in group play. As you guys are seeing, I'm just literally burning everything and I can sit back, relax, watch it burn, or if it doesn't burn, my drone comes in and finish them off. And that's what I like about this. I just put that to burn, all done, right? So that's why this build will be very good for a lot of you guys who are looking to farm XP fast and efficient because we know right now open world activities are the fastest way to get XP. I mean, there's a lot of really good ways to get XP, but if you just want to get through it very quick, a lot of these open world activities have one or two waves at max and the higher ones like propaganda and even public execution, which is the highest, that's only one wave. After you kill, you get one wave and you're over. And you'll see, it's very quick to get these done. And if you get a lot of activities bunched together, you can just knock them out one after the other and just collect the XP with minimum effort. And that's what's cool about when you find a build that helps you farm stuff fast and easy. Now I will say I do love sniping, so the hotshot build is still my favorite to use, but this is just a great alternative for people who don't enjoy sniping don't enjoy those type of builds and they rather have their skills do most of the work for them this is it because even if you get any type of enemy that doesn't take any type of status effects like you're seeing right in front of me this robot dog it doesn't matter because the drone will take it out and then i could just focus the regular enemies with my my fire my cam launchers boom put them on fire and they're just gonna burn they're gonna die the drone will come in and clean up everything else once I'm able to proc it again. So for me, I think this is another great way for you guys to farm XP very efficient, very fast, and have no trouble doing it. 100% you guys will enjoy it. And if you need to, you can always pull out the handy dandy Scorpio. But that's it for the gameplay. Let's get into the build. So for the build, you guys notice we were running a status effect, right? So we do have the Vile Mask on this build. What that's gonna do is it gives us skill tier, status effects, hazard protection. We do have a skill haste mod and I do stack skill haste on this build because I want those fire cams to come back as quick as possible because sometimes you run out and that skill haste will allow those to come back a little bit quicker. Now the vile mass is so good because of toxic delivery, status effects also apply a damage over time debuff for 10 seconds. Now this total damage dealt is equal to 50% of your concussion grenade damage and increased by your status effect attributes, which will have status effect attributes throughout this whole build. So that's going to help increase this toxic delivery that spreads uh, over time, right? So it's very, very good. We do have the Eclipse Protocol gear set. I love this set for status effect builds because the two piece gives you that 15% status effects. The three piece gives you that skill haste, hazard protection, and then the four piece indirect transmission, your status effects now spread on kill to all enemies within 10 meters. So if you can kill that first enemy, man, everybody's gonna start burning. And that's gonna refresh 50% of the duration of that status effect, which is good. But we are running the chest piece. This is gonna give a skill tier, status effect, skill haste, and look what the chest piece does. It increases tr um, indirect transmission from 10 meters to 15 meters, so that means enemies could be further spread apart and it could still spread to them and then it's going to refresh that percentage from 50 percent but to 75 percent so even going to hit harder so that's why personally i think the chest piece on the eclipse protocol is a must for our holster we are running the golden gear holster um you can actually run the new gear set that also has 10 percent status effects i personally like golden gear because it always rolls with that armor roll and then i just have to look for one that comes with skill damage and then i can roll the other one for status effects so ideally this is how you want you want that skill damage for the drone and then you want the status effects for your burn right and then also we get 10 percent status effects on the one piece golden gear for the knee pads we have our second piece of eclipse this is going to have skill tier status effects like i said we're going to have status effects attributes all throughout the build, which helps out the bio mask. For the gloves, we have the Eclipse Protocol gloves, our third piece, which skill tier status effects. And then our fourth and final piece is Eclipse backpack. So what this is gonna do is we have skill tier status effects, skill haste again, but look at this. It amplifies all damage you deal to status effects targets by 30%. So that drone that's coming in is going to be hit in 30% 
harder. If I decide to use any of my weapons, they are going to hit 30% harder. So that's what's actually good about the backpack. And I think the backpack's a really good piece, if not the best piece to put in here for the Eclipse protocol. Now for the skills, you'll see we are running a fire starter. It has eight ammo. The ammo cooldown is 18 seconds. The initial burst damage is 581,000. And then the burn damage over time is 285,000. I paired that up with the striker drone. And what that does, that's coming in, just clearing up the enemies, um, cleaning them up, right? Um, taking out any enemies that we weren't able to take out. 50,000 damage on this one. The cooldown is 15 seconds, so I don't really need the skill haste for this one, but it's definitely really good for the chem launcher. And then the duration on it is 232 seconds. For the weapons, I am primarily using the TDI card. Now, if you notice, the TDI card has pistol damage, skill tier, and then I put in sync on there. So if I hit an enemy with the pistol, I'm gaining 15% skill damage now if my skill is hitting an enemy i'm getting 50 percent weapon damage if they're both doing it 30 percent skill damage for that assault drone and then 30 percent weapon damage for the pistol so that's why i definitely like running in sync on skill builds especially if i'm running the drone right if you're running a skill damage build in sync definitely works good i do have the everlasting gaze so if i get any kind of headshot it's going to grant 50 percent status effect damage and duration to the next status effect you apply there's a cooldown of 16 seconds but yeah, I can get a headshot, put an enemy on fire, boom, enjoy that, go back to the pistol. My Scorpio is my backup. This bad boy is great for anything. If you're in trouble, get in cover, start blasting this and just let it do its work. And then hopefully that along with your striker drone should be able to clear out any enemy that doesn't take any type of status effect. But that's the build right there, guys. For me, I think this right here is an amazing build if you guys want to be able to spread that status effects to multiple enemies. What's cool about this is you can run this in a group setting because what you'll do is we will be spreading that fire right to everybody. Your striker drone will still be doing damage. You just need to stay in the back. You need to know how to play the content you're playing. But this right here is 100% a great build for solo for those open world activities. Or if you guys want to run this in group and just sit in the back and let your other enemy, other players do the damage. A, a lot of different things you can do this and you can swap these skills out however you would like. I'm going to wrap it up here, guys. Hey, I appreciate the support. Appreciate the love. I will see you guys in the next one. But until then, hey, nothing must goes out. Take it easy, everybody.